even better. Let's take you out to Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, Canada from The Athletic. We welcome in Blake Murphy, who recently in The Athletic wrote a detailed breakdown. I was very impressed by it, Blake, uh, looking at Kawhi Leonard and where he is and how he's being utilized a quarter of the way uh, into the new year. So his three-point number is down at about 33%. You broke down that he's probably taken too many pull-up threes as opposed to... Uh, you know, catch and shoot threes, but physically, where he's at, where is he at from what we saw when he was healthy a couple of years ago in San Antonio? And just the ball seems like it's in Kawhi Leonard's hands a lot. Yeah, he's getting pretty close. I think right now, the way uh, you could describe it is that the Raptors' offense exists and then Kawhi's offense exists, a little separate of that. His usage percentage is up around 30%. Uh, very few of his field goals are assisted. And then his his own individual assist rate is down, too. So you're seeing him be a little slow to kind of get into the fit of the Raptors' offense. But he, as an individual, is still performing pretty well. Uh, again, other than, as you mentioned, uh, some of those pull-up threes and then some of those mid-range elbow looks that he's usually quite a at. So as you look ahead, I think he's going to get better month to month. He's still a very powerful player, but he will get that quickness back as he plays more. Uh, he does have an option on his contract for next year, but he may make a you know career-altering decision. And I think we all kind of thought like Jimmy Butler and Paul George. Butler's still a free agent. Paul George, he may wind up in L.A. And Paul George wound up staying long-term in Oklahoma City. Uh, what has Kawhi Leonard said about his future. Would he be open to signing a long-term contract with the Raptors, or is he going to be one and done there? Yeah, he really hasn't said much at all. You, you can pretty much uh, write in pen right now that he'll decline that player option and become a free agent. Uh, the Raptors have some things in their favor, like that they can offer a, a fifth year on a contract and higher raises, so about $50 million more uh, in total uh, based on current estimates. But, you know, th there are other attractive markets, too. The biggest thing the Raptors can do is be competitive and make a deep playoff run and show Kawhi Leonard that this is your best chance to make the finals and maybe win an MVP and maybe win another championship. Um, you know, they have a long road to do that still, but that, that's the best case that they can make to him. Um, you know, the $50 million doesn't hurt either. It, Kawhi is not going to say anything about this until July 1st, though, I don't think, no matter how, thing, how well things go here. Toronto Raptors won 59 games last year with the number one seed, but LeBron and the Cavaliers did them uh, dirty again in the second round of the playoffs, and they made sweeping changes with the head coach in the big trade. They're 18 and 4. They've beaten Boston. They've lost to Boston. They've lost to Milwaukee. As you look ahead to, to May, uh, how do you handicap the East? Could the could this year this year be the year that the Raptors break on through and make it all the way to the finals? Yeah, I think so far they've been the best team in the East, and, and obviously 22 games is only 22 games, and you can expect Boston to be better. The Jimmy Butler addition in Philadelphia is obviously a huge one, uh, but you've seen Toronto come out of the gate here and try to work in new pieces like Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green and a new head coach in Nick Nurse, and, and everything's kind of gone to form about as well as they could expect other than some bad injury luck. You know, they're top six on defense, they're top three on offense, and as we talked about earlier, Kawhi isn't even really uh, fully integrated on the offensive end. Yet. So I think you look ahead at what this team could be in April, and that's kind of how they're making all of their decisions right now. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to keep up at 18 and four pace, but I think, you know, I think they're probably the favorite to win the one seed, and then that home court advantage in the East playoffs against a Boston or Milwaukee or Philadelphia, uh, it's going to be huge. It's, it's going to give them the inside edge on that, I think. Blake Murphy joins us from the Athletic in Toronto. Great work breaking down the Raptors. You've been covering them throughout the year. Thank you so much for your time on Warriors pregame live, and they are obviously. Uh, right now, as you said, Stanley, they're the most solid team in the NBA, only team in the top seven in both offense and defense. And when you trade for Kawhi Leonard,